In this video, I'm going to go over how to create a general class discussion board in Noble. To get started, go to the Assignments tab of your course, click Add, and choose Assignment. This looks just like any other assignment in Noble to get started. We will change when we get to the submission part. For submission type, this is where you're going to choose Discussion Board, and it will give you the additional Discussion Board options. We're choosing individual as the submission type. Individual is going to let you create a class discussion board where everyone sees each other's posts and can comment on each other's. We will cover group and private in the following videos. You can allow late submissions if you want. You can also allow anonymous posts and comments. Be careful with that one because then the student's name will not be visible to anyone but you as the professor. You can allow them to edit and delete posts and comments, but also be careful with that because if you turn that on, they could delete or edit things and you would no longer be able to see the original. The minimum number of posts, this is initial posts that the students are making. So I'm only requiring one post for this prompt. You can also choose the visibility. You can hide the posts so that all of the other students have to have their minimum number before they can see each other's. You could also hide it to, until students at least post once if you have more than one post required. I'm going to just let students view immediately because there's really no reason for me to do otherwise. You can have a required or recommended word count. I'm putting 25 words and I'll make that recommended, not required. If you are requiring a specific word count, make sure to include that in the description. Minimum number of comments, I'm going to put one because I did tell them they needed to comment and I'm also going to do a recommended comment word count. Once I'm ready, I can hit create there and I will see this view. This is my professor view of the assignment of the discussion board. I can always click more and view as to see what a generic student would see. And it looks pretty similar to that professor view. The difference is they see my submission rather than all of the submissions. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of there and we're going to take a look at what it looks like once students submit. So now that we've had our students submit, I can take a look here. Uh, the first thing to note is in this professor view, you automatically start in your discussion board view, which really is very similar to what the students see with each other. So I can scroll through here. I could make comments in this discussion board view, but keep in mind that if I make comments in this discussion board view, all of the students are going to see the comments. So I could even participate in the discussion board post, similar to my students, by putting something in here, and I could attach and I can post there just like a student would post and they will be able to see it as the class. Now, if you want to make comments and grade, you're going to do that actually in this little submissions tab area. So again, participating on the actual discussion board here, that's as though you were one of the class, you know, you are just participating as a student would as well. In this submissions area, this is where you can do the grading. And what's great in here in the submissions view is you can click on this little magnifying glass and you can preview the submissions of each student. You see the student's name right up here on the right side and you can toggle between your students. You can also in the bottom left here see all of the items, all of their posts and comments from this discussion board and move between them. As you move, Nopal will put a blue box around the comments that were from that student or the posts. You can also move through the posts and the comments on the right, and it gives you the word count here. Since the student met requirements, it tells me it's complete. My word counts were only recommended, not required, so the students did meet all the requirements there. I can go through and grade them here 
and I can give comments. If I give feedback comments down here, only the student whose name is at the top will see those particular comments. This is not that group discussion board. This is just for that particular student. And you can see I'm going through all of those. And when I'm done, I can click the X. And now I see that those are graded. And when you're ready, you can hit publish grades, just like with any other assignment. And the students will see the grades they received on the discussion board. And they can always go back to the general discussion board for a conversation. The discussion board will remain open until the due date, and then students will not be able to put anything else on the discussion board after that time. In the next video, I'm going to cover group discussion boards and how that works.